My neighborhood of birth was Dean Street. I lived just about two houses in from Albert Street. My opposite side of the street neighbor was Wesley Primary School and Wesley Church. And Chapel Lane, if you would come down that street, would run directly into our house. I am a lock by birth. My mom, Alice Lock, was the oldest child of six children. And I grew up with my mother. I didn't get to know my father until I was 11, when I was just about to go to primary school, in fact. And I guess it's significant that when I met him, I got my first bicycle. My childhood was a happy one. I think growing up with cousins in the backyard, there were three houses in that yard. And my cousins live in two other houses. And our family, which wasn't the biggest one, um, was pretty close-knit. My grandfather, my mother, my sister and I. And as time would go by, my aunt lived there with us as well. Sometimes I wonder how we all stayed in that one little house, but we fit. And because we were so close to each other, I think we enjoyed our time together. I lived so close to Wesley School though, that immediately I was two and a half years old, I begged to go to school. And I started school at two and a half in what we called ABC at that time. But I remember at our yard, we played a lot together. We played school, we played house, and if it was school, I was a teacher. And if no one else in the yard was playing with me, I played by myself with the railing. I used to lash those railing. If they didn't answer my questions correct, I gave it to them. And you know what is so funny about my time as a teacher then, I used to be such a disciplinarian with the whip, but as a real teacher, I have never lashed a soul. But I believe from that age, I began my formation as a teacher. My first teacher, Mrs. Hall, her daughter was my friend, and I would spend time at school with her and then beg to go to her house after school. She was such a pleasant person, and she cared for us. And throughout my primary school years, I was an excellent student, so my teachers liked me. I guess when you do good, you get rewarded. But it wasn't because they liked me I did well. I liked learning, and I think they helped me to like it even more. So then when I think about it now, Maybe that's why I wanted to teach, because I wanted others to feel how I felt when I learned something and mastered it. I remember Sister Sarita, our principal at SCA, and she was one of my role models. In fact, she was why I decided after teaching, I'll be a principal. I knew that from high school too. <laughs> but I remember her saying that we owe it to ourselves to be the best persons that we could be. I used to be late all the time, and she would be like with eyes in the back of her head and catch me all the time. And maybe it was in one of those conversations, and she just told me, you're not the best person that you can be if you're always late. My first job was at SCA, and my first class with fourth formers, who, by the way, were my age and older. I can remember walking into the room, and the class was all expectant, and here comes Miss Armstrong. Well, at that time, I was Miss Smichael. My maiden name was Smichael. And all eyes were on me, and it gave me a sense of knowing that I was expected to deliver, and it gave me that conviction also that I had to deliver. And I remember explaining to them, history is the best subject you would ever take. 
And I think I tried my best to convince them, you know, this is it. You're going to learn nothing more important than history. A student that comes to my mind that really loved history and took it all on is Lisa Schumann. I always think of Lisa as a good example of a person that got into history with me. And I remember her saying she was going to be the first female Prime Minister of Belize. I took her class on, the, on a field trip to the first sitting of the house that heard the reading of the white paper, which is the precursor to the constitution of Belize. And when that child walked into that house, and I could see all the girls were looking around, you know, quite fascinated, but it was as if Lisa was, you know, extra. And she became a member of the house, you know. And I've looked at that as an illustration of how far a teacher's influence can go. Because you open up a world to a child and you watch them grow in it. I think this might be my last year as a high school principal. I think I've reached a crossroads actually. And that's okay because I've had an extremely enjoyable time. And I just hope that the little that I have done through touching the lives of all those boys and girls, and I'm so happy to have gone from an all-girls school to a co-ed school so that I could touch the lives of boys, that that will be continued through the lives of all those educators who will come after me. Our young need good leaders, good teachers, and I'm so blessed to have been in the teaching profession. I look into the window of my mind Reflections of the fears I know I've left behind